Hello people of the internet, this is Learn Punjabi with Tushar and in this video, let me close my OBS, I'm going to tell you how to learn vocabulary with Anki. So Anki is a flashcard memorization program which you can go to at ankiweb.net is what I think it is and uh, yeah just download it 64 bit depending on your operating system but anyways uh, you when you get to that you should if you don't already have Anki you should have a you should have a default a, a default deck right here if you do have Anki go to file click switch profile and create a new profile okay so you'll have a default deck you can rename this to whatever you want so here we'll rename it Punjabi and I'll, I'll actually use the Punjabi uh, uh, keyboard right here so Punjabi and then Punjabi there you go that is the Urdu keyboard but I, I couldn't find one for Shamukhi um, anyways so you may be wondering where do I find these words well just do a simple Google search common words in Punjabi now I personally didn't use this one because uh, I just didn't so I, I went down and I found this one, right? Uh, 17 minute world uh, languages.com, which I actually have heard of this website before. And uh, if you scroll down, you can forget about this. There's a video here, you can watch that if you want. But down here, which was the more important part, were the greetings and that they have the audio valve. If you heard that through my microphone, uh, you know, they have a. Uh, you know they have the sound files and uh, i don't think you can actually download that so if you know how to add that into anki you can work on that by searching it up if you go for technology if you can definitely add it if you can't don't stress too much over it but try to figure out a way to do it because i think it would be really useful but you know um, that's up to you so right here you see we have it in uh, gurmukhi right here Satsariya Kal and hello and we get the translation uh, SG meaning singular, PL meaning plural, uh, this meaning informal, this meaning formal. I recommend don't copy down this, don't copy down the English part because it's not useful. When you read Punjabi, you won't be reading that, you'll be reading the actual script. So what you want to do is, for this kind of website, I also found this website. You scroll down, you find, uh, this is the pronunciation, but learn the script first. Before you add any words, learn, a sc learn the script. Uh, and then once you do, you can take one of these words. So I will uh, first, actually I think this is wrong. Yeah, it's not supposed to be I, but anyways, it's because this is ma and then it's written wrong here. But anyways, uh, so let's say, like st st stuff like this, which is just English, good night. Don't add that, that's stupid. Uh, let's add um, nai, right? Nai. So there's important vocabulary here on this. Click copy. Now click copy and now we're going to go to the we're going to go here click add and you can edit the fields and cards and stuff and i recommend you explore that on your own but just add the word here by copy and pasting and if it has like if it's like italicized then just like if like you know by any chance click control a press control r and it'll go away and so on the back you want to write the translation what's the translation here no so we'll type in no and that's how you can add vocabulary. Again, you can add more fields. So you can have a picture field, a field for a picture, and it will show a picture. You want to do this through, uh, I think it's it's either here or um, it might be cards. Yeah, it's cards. And then so, so like right now I have it, so this is bold. Uh, I changed it here. You can go to the HTML. You're going to have to learn some slight HTML, but know that a H1 tag is the biggest and bold, makes a bold. So putting front here means it'll display anything that you want to put in the front field which uh, okay, it's not showing okay, we'll close this. Uh, the front field it will display there so you can change that and this is the front template this is the back on the back side it'll show this bar and the answer and the answer you can make an I made an h2 tag here instead of an h1 so it's a little bit smaller you can put an image uh, you know you could have like again another field and when you have that field you can put these like uh, curly braces and then have like picture but right now again right here there's no field called picture I didn't add one but you can search up how to do that if you want me to uh, make a video on that just uh, tell me in the comments below but um anyways we'll discard that so now we've added the word 
and we'll click add and also do uh, I recommend that if you're not if you're just starting off do add this to the templates because you know the h2 tags and the h1 tags because um, you know copy this because it makes it easier on the eyes and especially if you're doing it on the phone so now you click add and now we've added it so you can go right here click study now and you want to have the cards like this you don't want to have the English on the front and then the Punjabi on the back that's not useful do it from the other way around uh, so Nahi right no no and learn and learn the script guys learn the script this is very important learn the script because do not use uh, this English thing right here is not useful um, I've seen it been translated in very different ways um, depending I know there's like some standard that's unofficially there but just don't do that learn the script that's very it's gonna help you and it's not too difficult again if you're learning Sha Mukhi I could understand otherwise but if you're specifically learning that you're probably learning the script anyways so if you're just trying to learn Punjabi without the script just still learn the script I, it will be very useful in the long run especially if you want to get good in the language and read it you're going to need to know how to read the script so right here you're going to see three buttons you have again good and easy don't press easy don't press hard this is mentioned in the refold guide I'm, I'm getting a lot of this, some of this from refolds website so you can check them out but um uh click again if you don't so like say like you were in the card so yeah so you just click here and click study now by the way so the blue is a uh, new cards green is uh, cards that are supposed to be there and uh, that you're supposed to review for the day learning means like cards that got wrong and you have to re-review these are like cards that you'll get in the future so say like I get this card I'll come back in three days maybe and in three days it'll be in the screen section you'll see it here and then you'll study it again if you get it wrong you'll go back uh, the number of days to zero you will have to change that in the settings so like right now uh, I know I'm going all over the place but right now say I got, I got this right now you know you don't click good and like you you'll have a lot of other cards so it won't just come up again but because only a one card it's only gonna be you know one time so you, it comes up again and then you're like all right uh, I don't memorize I can't remember it then you click again and I'll come back in a minute so you do it again and you're like uh, I got it good and then you're like oh I got it this time too good and now you're done with the deck for the day because I'll, I'll right now only have one card but uh, again you'll have when you do multiple cards they won't just be instantly to the same card again you'll have to you know you'll see it in a little while uh do change the settings i recommend going to ruffold's website and using their settings to have it so like it's not annoying to use so anyways say you want to have shamuki right so let's we can close this and we can close this but like say you want to have shamuki just search it up common words in punjabi shamuki right I just went to the first one, Omniglot, which I've used in a previous video before. And if you scroll down, you see that there's the Shamuki. So now, like, uh, yeah, you heard that with the audio through my microphone, maybe. But yeah, if you click on it, there's the audio. But you want to select it, trying not to hit the audio. Uh, let's do Tuhada ki hal hai. And you can also do phrases, it doesn't have to be just words. So Tuhada hal ki hai, or Tuhada. I don't know why I'm reading that wrong uh, copy so we'll copy that and then we'll go right here back to here uh, click add paste it and you see how it's like blue and you don't want the press ctrl r on it and I'll take away all styles if that that might still be blue and if that is just uh, no okay it is black I, I think I can't really tell it might be a dark blue but in case it is there is a way to uh, get rid of that the control R should do it um, and on the back you can write so tohada tohada ki hal hai um, how are you right just to make sure I'm not being dumb yeah okay how are you um, so how are you and then click add you can exit out of this study now and you have tohada ki hal hai I was trying to open up uh I was trying to open up Google Chrome for some reason. So I guess some of the uh some of the things didn't come off. In, in case this is a problem, you can also just download like a Urdu keyboard for the Shamuki and just type it in yourself. So Tuhada uh Tuhada ki hal hai. Right? But uh in doing so you have to realize that uh you know like the U part here was added because they put it in I don't know how you can add that with the with typing it I don't know about that so like you know how in Shamuki they don't always like write their short vowels um, 
I don't know how you can add that, so you're gonna have to search that up on your own. For me, you because in Shamuk you're just supposed to assume it. If you want to get into that straight away, you can do that, you know, like this from the beginning, so you can get used to it. Otherwise, uh, you might want to find a way to copy this properly. But in case you can't, you can just type it in. Of course, click show answer, and you get the answer. And again, you can go through the same process. And you don't just have to have Shamuk. You can add a good Muki here too. Good Muki here too. So let me do that. To Harda. Uh, ki hal hai. and then you can click close so you will have to learn some few transliteration when you are typing in Punjabi because uh, it's just is what it is uh, you're not literally using the characters you type it in English and it transliterizes it for you and you can select it with the arrow keys which one you want both in the Urdu keyboard and this um, uh, Gurmukhi Punjabi keyboard so to harda ki Hal has. So yes, you are going to have to learn a few transliteration, uh, but I still recommend learning the script because if you're going to read like an article, if you're going to be doing going further in depth into the Punjabi language, you're going to want to know how to read the script. So anyways, you can click close on here and now we have it in both Gurmukhi and Shamukhi. Um, though you might want to split these up into two separate um, cards so you don't like you know you automatically know how to write read this but you can't read this and then you just like already know it and you lie to yourself if you'd want to avoid that then you can separate them into different cards but uh besides this uh, there's also this Wiktionary frequency list for Punjabi, which I think is a really cool place to check out for uh, adding new words uh, If you want to do so just don't add like the ones that are like one character um, They're not useful and for these you're gonna have to translate into English through a translator or through a vocabulary website I think Shabd Kosh is one and um, Yeah, so you want to you know, for example, we'll take Ik Ik right copy it's in gurmukhi only um you know that's just how Wiktionary wanted to put it again you can see how this is blue it should come off with control r okay it's not i don't i don't really know why let me just type it myself with the keyboard ik there you go and then uh which means one and close that and now you have the cards now you have two cards so you learned this you got good and then the next card comes up and say like click uh good you know, it's not automatically going back to this card like I mentioned earlier. You click again, like this one again, good, and I'll come back in a day. You see how it says one day, one D. It might say one M the more you do it, because how this, what Anki is overall is a spaced repetition system. So you'll have a, uh, you'll have one day where like, uh, I don't know where I can draw this. Yeah, I don't think I can, but... Uh, you'll have one day where this will come up and uh, you know in three days it'll come up in a day and then it'll come back in three days and if you press good and then it'll come back in like a week and then a month and then uh, you know two months and then if you get it wrong it'll go back down all the way to zero unless you change the settings again go to Ruffold's, web Ruffold's website to do that but overall that's how you can learn Punjabi with Anki thank you so much uh, bye